I'm trying to remove um, the uh, needle um, bearings from my linkage uh, on my suspension. I have an Aprilia Falco and it needs a uh, change and some maintenance. So just thought I'd show you guys a real simple way that I've managed to find to, to kind of do this. Um, and hope you guys uh, might find it helpful. I know a lot of guys have a vice and that kind of stuff, but I have a remote garage with not too many tools and things. And so um, I found a kind of fairly simple way to do this. So let's take a look and see what we can do. You can see I've got my dog bone here. Taken the linkages out from this end already. There they are in here. I've removed the needles from inside. You can just about maybe see that. Yeah, here, here. And now really all I want to do is try and push the existing bearing races through, uh, through the dog bone if I can. So like I say, I haven't got a vice or, or anything like that. So what I've managed to do I found myself a fairly large G-clamp. You, know, you can buy that in a lot of stores. Um, this needs to open kind of reasonably wide, as you can see. And I got myself um, two um, uh, sockets here. So uh, this is 18 millimeter socket, standard socket. And as you can see here, just about kind of fits, pretty much uh, exactly fits into the, uh, into the hole. Uh, where, the, where the actual bearings are and then uh, I've got another socket here so this particular one here so uh, this is uh, I don't know about a yeah, 26 millimeter socket uh, and that will go over the other end here and it's it's big enough at this end to take to take the needle bearing as you can see it goes right inside so um, effectively I'm gonna try and uh, kind of work it work it like that I'm just gonna put in the dog bone like so push the bearings through from one side uh, to the other. So there you can see I've got the dog bone fastened into the G-clamp. G-clamp I've held on my little workstation here. I tried to put the dog bone this side so that direction of uh, turn is, is that way so that that will stop it kind of going round. So I've got something to push against and then all we're going to do is we're going to gradually screw in the G-clamp as you can see, it starts to push and it will pop and pop a bit as we kind of go along. Um, quite a bit of friction there. <coughs> so you can see here a little bit of good fortune on my part. The G clamp I chose uh, for whatever reason. Uh, the, the end of the G clamp here seems to be just small enough to go into the into the dog bone housing, um, but I guess if you if you don't if yours is bigger, then you possibly need either a long, longer socket or add a socket extension on, uh, and it should push it through. So I'm just going to push this last bearing through like so. You can see how it kind of just pushes in, uh, going all the way through here. As you can see, just turning it through, and it's going right the way through the system here. There is a bearing inside. And that's my bearings out. They're not in too bad shape, but probably good to change anyway. That is the job done. Ready for the new bearings to go. 